this is Jupiter Today for the 7th of February, 2015. Jupiter Today is a daily podcast focusing attention on the dynamic Jupiter system for the purpose of monitoring activity. At zero hours UTC, EO begins the day in quadrant two, heading west. And Europa also starts the day in quadrant two, heading west. Ganymede at zero hours is in quadrant one, heading east. And Callisto spends all day in quadrant two, slowly moving west. At six hours UTC, EO and Europa are still in quadrant two, heading west. At 5.33, Europa goes through an apogee at a distance of 677,178.3 kilometers. And at 6.12 UTC, EO goes through a perigeove at a distance of 420,015.2 kilometers. By 12 hours UTC, EO has transited Jupiter from Earth's point of view. This is the line of sight to Earth and the Sun. We're very near the conjunction, so these two lines are overlapping at the moment. This blue line will continue to head this way as the Sun line continues in a, in a straight path this way. And by 18 hours UTC, EO is still in quadrant three, heading west for a little while longer. And Europa has transited Jupiter and is now firmly also in quadrant three, heading west. And Ganymede has just passed its eastern elongation and will be moving into quadrant two, heading west. And by zero hours UTC tomorrow, EO has passed its western elongation and is now firmly in quadrant four, heading east. And Europa ends the day in quadrant three, heading west. Orbital ribbons for today. There's the connection between EO and Europa. These are the same orbital paths as you saw in the previous graphic. Just connecting the same times to the different moons. So this is EO and Ganymede. There's EO and Callisto. And Europa and Ganymede. A nice little twist there. And Europa and Callisto. And finally, Ganymede and Callisto. And putting them all together and colorizing them a little bit. We get that today. So there are eight Jupiter satellite events today. At 8.22 UTC, EO begins its transit of Jupiter. 8.23, the shadow of EO ingresses. At 10.40, the transit of EO ends. And at 10.41 UTC, the shadow of EO egresses. At 11.39, Europa begins its transit of Jupiter. And at 11.42, the shadow of Europa ingresses. At 14.34, the transit of Europa across Jupiter ends. And at 14.36, the shadow of Europa egresses. This is the first time that the transits are leading the shadows. And that makes sense because today is the first day after the opposition. There are two satellite mutual events, both happening pretty much at the same time, so I just combined them into one graphic to show those two things. The first mutual event goes from 2154 to 2201 UTC, and that's when Europa is going to occult EO. It's a 6.9 minute event with an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.389 magnitudes. And it's a nice 
distance away from Jupiter, 106.03 arc seconds. The second event goes from 2157 to 2205 UTC when Europa eclipses EO. So there's a little bit of overlap with the occultation and the eclipse. It's an 8.2 minute event with an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.676 magnitudes. And the distance again is nice and far from Jupiter, so a good photographic or photometric target. It's 105.67 arc seconds from Jupiter, and Europa and Eo are 2.19 arc seconds apart. And visibility of this event looks like all of Europe is going to get it, a lot of Asia, and all of Africa will be able to see this event. Okay, 24 hours of Jupiter sky. We're standing on the equator of Jupiter, looking out just above the clouds. And this is what we'll see over the next 24 hours. If we were there. Here's Eo passing near Europa. Starting its transit from Earth's point of view. And Europa is soon to follow. A couple hours later. The red spot crosses the meridian of Jupiter twice today, the first at 8.18 and the second at 18.14 UTC. There were some new images posted and I will show those off in tomorrow's podcast, as well as some new radio data. And there were no new papers today. So at zero hours UTC, the position of Jupiter on the celestial sphere is a right ascension of 9 hours, 20 minutes, 32.5 seconds, and a declination of positive 16 degrees, 32 minutes, 23.6 seconds. The angular separation from the Sun today is 179 degrees, and that's 0.3 degrees greater than what it was yesterday. The phase angle is 0.185 degrees, and that's 0.054 degrees less than what it was yesterday. The distance between Earth and Jupiter today is 650,194,190 kilometers, and that's 9,729 kilometers further away than what it was yesterday. That gives a relative velocity between Jupiter and Earth of 405.38 kilometers per hour, moving away from one another now, or past opposition. And that's 1,972.21 kilometers per hour greater than what it was yesterday. The distance between Jupiter and the Sun is 797,701,106 kilometers. And that's 46,402 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. That gives a relative velocity between Jupiter and the Sun of 1,933.42 kilometers per hour. And that's 1.46 kilometers per hour greater than what it was yesterday. And the central meridian at zero hours UTC, CM1, 144.14 degrees. CM2, 157.31 degrees. CM3, 65.9 degrees. The time of this recording is 1.04 UTC on the 7th of February, 2015. 
so please subscribe and thank you to those who are subscribing and watching make sure to tell everyone that you know who may be interested in this to watch and subscribe I'm always trying to make improvements give different perspectives on the very dynamic Jupiter system you can hear more of my plans in the description of this podcast which I have posted on my main YouTube page you can send your comments and questions and suggestions and your images to the email shown and until tomorrow I bid you peace